Hello dear students, let's see this question number 3.5 of Erado, it's question of electrostatics. The question states, a thin wire ring of radius R has an electric charge Q. What will be the increment of the force stretching the wire if a point charge Q node is placed at the ring center? So uh, here is the diagram of the question. This is a ring uh, having the charge Q. So because of this charge at all points of the ring, there will be an outward direction electric field. And because of that electric field, all the uh, charges, uh, little, little charges on the ring will feel an outward stretch. So uh, the, this ring due to this charge is in a state of an stretch. So there will be a tension at any section. Suppose if I take uh, this, uh, section so the two parts of that section would be uh, pulling each other so because of this charge there is already a tension now what happens if we put some little more charge or whatever amount of charge we want to put at the center so due to this charge a new force will be acting at all the points and uh, uh, there will be more outward stretch and because of the more outward stretch the tension at any section will increase. So we have to find the increment of the tension uh, at a point uh, in the ring. So for that, I need to take a very little part of the ring. And uh, let me take uh, this little part of the ring, this little part I'm showing, so let me show separately. This little part is subtending angle d theta at the center. And uh, by definition, d theta is very small, just but for the sake of clarity, I've shown a bit wider. So the four, uh, first of all, what is the charge on this part? So charge on this uh, little part, say dq, it will be like a point charge. The whole ring had a charge q and the whole ring was subtending angle 2 pi at the center. So, uh, and this part is subtending d theta at the center. So, the charge of this part is the total charge divided by uh, 2 pi. This is the charge per unit angle subtended at the center, and this part is subtending angle d theta. So, this is the charge. Now, uh, by symmetry, tension at all the sections should be the same. So, if I talk about this section, the two parts of the system, the two sides of the system, this side and this side. So this side must be pulling this side by some tension and we have to find the increment of the tension. So now the tension that uh, I want to calculate is the increment. So that increment is coming because of this extra charge Q0. So uh, the tension will be uh, along the length and it will be a pull. So this increment of tension, let me show like this. And suppose that increment of tension is delta T. And similarly on this side also delta T. What I had done here, I have symmetrically divided this whole angle d theta into two equal parts, d theta by 2 and d theta by 2. And this is a line angle bisector of d theta. So uh, a line parallel to this line here, let me draw like this. And let me also draw like this. And a line perpendicular to this dotted line is like this and like this. So uh, this angle is d theta by 2. So this angle will also be d theta by 2. And this is uh, perpendicular to each other. So that will be 90 minus d theta by 2. So this will be d theta by 2. So on this side, let me show that will be uh, d theta by 2. And on this side also d theta by 2. So if we make the components of delta t along these lines on both sides. So this component would be delta t cos d theta by 2 and same here delta t cos d theta by 2 and this component would be delta t sin d theta by 2 and uh, here this would be delta t sin d theta by 2. So this is the, uh, these are the components of the tension and now because of the charge Q0 placed at the center, there will be a electrostatic uh, repulsion on this element dq and the element dq has to be taken like a point charge. That's the purpose of taking it so small part. So here uh, the force of repulsion would be between these two point charges. I will simply write 
1 over 4 pi epsilon naught product of charges and that is a q naught into dq divided by distance square r square and this whole ring is in the state of equilibrium so any little part is also in equilibrium so equilibrium of this part would give me uh, on these two cancels and this part and this part would together balance this part so uh, the sum of these two parts in the downward direction is delta t sine d theta by 2 and there are two side two parts of twice and above that is the force is 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught q naught uh, dq by r square the angle d theta is very small and uh, for a very small angle sine theta is theta f theta is as a radian so i can write twice delta t d theta by 2 and on this side 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught q naught uh, by r square and dq is the q by 2 pi d theta so this d theta this d theta will get cancelled 2 and 2 will get cancelled so finally i'll get uh, delta t in only the third step and that would be uh, q naught q divided by 8 pi square epsilon naught r square and this is my answer. Thank you.